As many of you know, keyboard shortcuts can make life easier when navigating your computer. There are the simple ones like Ctrl-C to copy and Ctrl-V to paste. There are also lesser used shortcuts that can be just as useful. Coming up on Tech Gumbo, I'll show you 20 keyboard shortcuts that can be used with your Windows computer that can save you time and increase productivity. And for the first time ever, I'll be putting timestamps in the description of this video. So if you ever need to come back to this video, all you have to do is just click one of the timestamps to take you directly where you need to go. With that out of the way, let's get started. Let's start off with an easy one. If you're like me, sometimes you have several programs opened at the same time. To easily scroll through those programs, hold down the Alt and Tab key at the same time. And then keep pressing the Tab key with Alt held down until you find the program that you want. And then let go of both keys. If you're in a program and you want to see your desktop, holding down the Windows key plus D will minimize your open windows showing your desktop. Holding down the Windows key plus D again will bring your open windows back into view. Many of you are familiar with the snipping tool built into Windows that allows for capturing a part of your screen. A quicker way to take a snippet with the latest versions of Windows 10 is to hold down the Windows key plus Shift plus S. You'll see the cursor is replaced with the plus icon. Now just left click on your mouse and select the portion of the screen that you would like to capture. And then let go. It will automatically create a copy to your clipboard, but to save this capture, you'll need to paste it into one of your image editing programs. Here's a shortcut that works with every browser I've tried it on. If you have multiple tabs opened, after you go to exit those tabs that you didn't intend to close, you can bring them back by pressing Control plus Shift plus T all at the same time. Everyone knows that using the backspace key will delete one character at a time. What is even more useful is holding down the control key and then tapping on the backspace key will delete entire words. This deletes sentences and paragraphs quicker without having to use your mouse. If you simply want to rename a file without selecting it with your mouse, use your arrow keys to move over to the file, then tap the F2 key, then rename your file. We'll stay on the function row of your keyboard for this next one. When you're running File Explorer or you're in your web browser, pressing F5 will refresh the page. Snapping Windows is great if you'd like to multitask. Let's say you want to watch or listen to a YouTube video while working on another project. So let's take this YouTube window, hold down the Windows key, and then tap on the left or right arrow key to move your window into place. Then use the same shortcut to move the other window into place for side-by-side -side viewing. I already showed you earlier how to capture a snippet, and most of you know that using the print screen key on your keyboard will capture the entire desktop but if you want to capture the active window you have open without capturing the rest of the desktop, hold down Alt plus the print screen key. It will automatically copy to your clipboard. Then just paste it into your favorite editing program. I've lost a lot of work over the years due to random computer crashes and power outages. Using Control plus S frequently to save your files can save you a lot of time. For that reason, Control plus S is one of my favorite and most used shortcuts. Instead of going to the Start menu to open Settings, holding down the Windows key plus I will open the Settings menu. Using the Windows key plus A will open the Action Center panel. With the panel open, I'll give you a bonus tip. You'll see the word Collapse is outlined in white. You can use the tab key to jump down to the next section and then use the arrow keys to navigate this panel. And with Wi-Fi outlined in white, I'll hit the enter key on my keyboard to turn it on. You can navigate other windows on your computer in the same way as well. 
A feature added with the launch of Windows 10 is virtual desktops, which is great if you keep a lot of apps open or you use your PC for different types of tasks. To see your virtual desktops, hold down the Windows key and the Tab key. You'll see at the bottom of the screen that I have two desktop environments that are currently open. To create a new virtual desktop, hold down the Windows key, Control key, plus D. Now with three virtual desktops currently active, to switch between these desktops, hold down the Windows key, plus Control, and then select either the left or right arrow. If you want to quickly make a copy of a file without using Control C to copy and Control V to paste, this one actually involves the use of your mouse. Highlight the file, hold down the Control key, and drag the file outward. That's what I call a quick copy and paste. When you're in a document, to quickly jump to the top, hold down Control plus the Home key. Holding down Control plus the End key will take you to the bottom of the document. To open the Start menu, hold down the Windows key. Most of you knew that, but to open the hidden Quick Link menu, hold down the Windows key plus X. This will give you a look that looks a lot like the old start menu from previous Windows operating systems. If you play games on your PC, holding down the Windows key plus G opens the game bar, where you can quickly access your Xbox Live app, take a screenshot, and record your screen. It will even record your screen even if that program you have opened is not a game. As we get older, our vision gets worse. So to magnify your screen, place your cursor on the section of the screen that you want to magnify. Then hold down the Windows key, then press the plus key to zoom in. To zoom back out, while keeping the Windows key pressed, tap on the minus key. Let's take a look at the taskbar. There are several apps. You can open these with a quick shortcut. First, find out how far from the left that app is that you want to open. For example, the Vivaldi browser is four from the left. To open it, hold down the Windows key plus the number four key. And it just opened up the browser. This shortcut works with any program in the taskbar. If you want to create your own shortcut to any of your favorite programs, folders, or files, that is easy to do. In this example, I'll create a shortcut for a program. First, you'll want to find the executable file for that program. The simplest way to do that is to go down to the search bar or use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus S. Type in the name of your program, right click and select open file location, right click on the program and select properties. In the shortcut area, hold down control, then just select the number or letter that you want for that shortcut. Select apply. Now when you use the keyboard shortcut you created, your file, folder, or program will open. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. If there's a lesser known shortcut that you used that was not mentioned, let me know in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to click the subscribe button and bell notification icon for more PC tips and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.